the law of one unabridged transcription of contact between the L and L group in registered trademark and the social memory complex known as RAW. Session 35 I am RAW. I greet you in the love and in the light of the one infinite creator. We communicate now. Questioner, I would like to say that we consider this a great privilege to be doing this work and hope that we are going to question, in a, direction that will be of value to the readers of this material. This session, I thought that possibly inspecting the effect on the rays of different well-known figures in our history might be help in understanding how the catalyst of the illusion creates spiritual growth. I was making a list here and the first I thought we might possibly hit the high points on as to the effect of catalyst of the individual's working life would be the one we know as Franklin D. Roosevelt. Could you say something about that entity? I am raw. It is to be noted that in discussing those who are well-known known among your peoples there is the possibility that information may be seen to be specific to one entity whereas in actuality the great design of experience is much the same for each entity. It is with this in mind that we would discuss the experiential forces which offered catalyst to an individual. It is further to be noted that in the case of those entities lately incarnate upon your plane much distortion may have taken place in regard to misinformation and misinterpretation of an entity's thoughts or behaviors. We shall now proceed to, shall we say, speak of the basic parameters of the one known as Franklin. When any entity comes into third density incarnation, each of its energy centers is potentiated but must be activated by the self-using experience. The one known as Franklin developed very quickly up through red, orange, yellow, and green and began to work in the blue ray energy center at a tender age, as you would say. This rapid growth was due, firstly, to previous achievements in the activation of these rays. Secondly, to the relative comfort and leisure of its early existence. Thirdly, due to the strong desire upon the part of the entity to progress. This entity mated with an entity whose blue ray vibrations were of a strength more than equal to its own thus acquiring catalyst for further growth in that area that was to persist throughout the incarnation. This entity had some difficulty with continued green ray activity due to the excessive energy which was put into the activities regarding other selves in the distortion towards acquiring power. This was to have its toll upon the physical vehicle, as you may call it. The limitation of the non-movement of a portion of the physical vehicle opened once again, for this entity, the opportunity for concentration upon the more, shall we say, universal or idealistic aspects of power. That is, the non-abusive use of power. Thus at the outset of Abelico's action this entity had lost some positive polarity due to excessive use of the orange and yellow ray energies at the expense of green and blue ray energies, then had regained the polarity due to the catalytic effects of a painful limitation upon the physical complex. This entity was not of a bellicose nature but rather during the conflict continued to vibrate in green ray working with the blue ray energies. The entity who was the one known as Franklin's teacher also functioned greatly during this period as blue ray activator, not only for its mate but also in a more universal expression. This entity polarized continuously in a positive fashion in the universal sense while, in a less universal sense, developing a pattern of what may be called karma. This karma having to do with inharmonious relationship distortions with the May teacher. Questioner, two things I would like to clear up. Then Franklin's teacher was his wife. Is this correct? I am raw. This is correct. Questioner, secondly, did Franklin place the limitation on his physical body himself? I am raw. This is partially correct. The basic guidelines for the lessons and purposes of incarnation had been carefully set forth before incarnation by the mind-body-spirit complex totality. If the one known as Franklin had avoided the excessive enjoyment of or attachment of the competitiveness which may be seen to be inherent in the processes of its occupation, this entity would not have had the limitation. However, the desire to serve and to grow was strong in this programming and when the opportunities began to cease due to these distortions towards love of power the entity's limiting factor was activated. Questioner, I would now like to ask for the same type of information with respect to Adolf Hitler. You have given a little of this already. It is not necessary to recover what you have already given, but if you could complete that information it would be helpful. I am raw. In speaking of the one you call Adolf we have some difficulty due to the intense amount of confusion present in this entity's life patterns as well as the great confusion which greets any discussion of this entity. Here we see an example of one who, in attempting activation of the highest rays of energy while lacking the green ray key, 
cancelled itself out as far as polarization either towards positive or negative. This entity was basically negative. However, its confusion was such that the personality disintegrated, thus leaving the mind-body-spirit complex unharvestable and much in need of healing. This entity followed the pattern of negative polarization which suggests the elite and the enslaved, this being seen by the entity to be of an helpful nature for the societal structure. However, in drifting from the conscious polarization into what you may call a twilight world where dream took the place of events and your space-time continuum, this entity failed in its attempt to serve the creator in an harvestable degree along the path of service to self. Thus we see this so-called insanity which may often arise when an entity attempts to polarize more quickly than experience may be integrated. We have advised and suggested caution and patience in previous communications and do so again, using this entity as an example of the over-hasty opening of polarization without due attention to the synthesized and integrated mind-body-spirit complex. To know yourself is to have the foundation upon firm ground. Questioner, thank you. An important example, I believe. I was wondering if any of those who were subordinate to Adolf at that time were able to polarize in a harvestable nature on the negative path. I am raw. We can speak only of two entities who may be harvestable in a negative sense, others still being in the physical incarnation, one known to you as Herman. The other known, as it preferred to be called, Himmler. Questioner, Thank you. Earlier we discussed Abraham Lincoln as a rather unique case. Is it possible for you to tell us what the orientation was and why the fourth density being used Abraham's body, and when this took place with respect to the activities that were occurring in our society at that time? I am raw. This is possible. Questioner, would it be of value for the reader to know this in your estimation? I am raw. You must shape your queries according to your discernment. Questioner. Well in that case I would like to know the motivation for this use of Abraham Lincoln's body at that time. I am raw. This shall be the last full query of this session as we find the instrument quite low in vital energies. The one known as Abraham had an extreme difficulty in many ways and, due to physical, mental, and spiritual pain, was weary of life but without the orientation to self-destruction. In your time, 1853, this entity was contacted in sleep by a fourth density being. This being was concerned with the battle between the forces of light and the forces of darkness which had been waged in fourth density for many of your years. This entity accepted the honor duty of completing the one known as Abraham's karmic patterns and the one known as Abraham discovered that this entity would attempt those things which the one known as Abraham desired to do but felt it could not. Thus the exchange was made. The entity, Abraham, was taken to a plane of suspension until the cessation of its physical vehicle much as though we of raw would arrange with this instrument to remain in the vehicle, come out of the trance state, and function as this instrument, leaving this instrument's mind and spirit complex in its suspended state. The planetary energies at this time were at what seemed to this entity to be at a critical point, for that which you know as freedom had gained an acceptance as a possibility among many peoples. This entity saw the work done by those beginning the democratic concept of freedom, as you call it, in danger of being abridged or abrogated by the rising belief and use of the principle of the enslavement of entities. This is a negative concept of a fairly serious nature in your density. This entity, therefore, went forward into what it saw as a battle for the light or healing of a rupture in the concept of freedom. This entity did not gain or lose karma by these activities due to its detachment from any outcome. Its attitude throughout was one of service to others, more especially to the downtrodden or enslaved. The polarity of the individual was somewhat, but not severely, lessened by the cumulative feelings and thought forms which were created due to large numbers of entities leaving the physical plane due to trauma of battle. May we ask if this is the information you requested or if we may supply any further information? Questioner, if there are any further questions I will ask them in the next period which should occur in about four days. I do not want to avert higher the instrument. I will only ask if there is anything that we can do to make the instrument more comfortable or improve the contact. I am raw. All is well. I leave you my friends, in the love and the light of the one infinite creator. Go forth, therefore rejoicing in the power and the peace of the one creator. Adonai. End of session 35.